special effects on text can add a wow factor to any project for print or web. In this tutorial, we'll create movie poster text with text effects that will grab viewers' attention but aren't too hard to make. Start by selecting the horizontal type tool in the toolbar. Let's go up to the options bar to set some basic font properties. Click the font menu. For this project, we want to use a plain font without serifs. If you want to see just those fonts without serifs, you can go to the filter menu and choose Sans Serif. We want a font that has impact and a traditional movie poster look. So let's look for a big display font with letters that are condensed or close together. I'm going to scroll up and choose this font, DIN Condensed. If you don't have this font, just choose a font that has some weight to it and whose letters look condensed. Now let's move over to the font size field. We know we need pretty big text, so let's type in 100 points and then go to the font color field. Click there, and in the color picker that opens, click on white and click OK. Now let's enter the title of this movie. Move into the image and click, and you may see placeholder text like this. If you do, you can just type over it. So type the movie title, The Illuminator, and then move your cursor away until you see a temporary Move Tool icon. Drag down to move the text toward the bottom of the image. I want to center this text from left to right, and the best way to do that is with the options for the Move Tool. So I'm going to select the Move Tool in the toolbar that commits the text, and then I can click on the text and drag it, and these pink Smart Guides will help me to center it. Now for the fun part, let's add some effects to this text. Go over to the Layers panel and double-click the Illuminator Type Layer. That opens the Layer Style dialog box. This is a great place to experiment with text effects. We're going to apply a Gradient Overlay effect. So go over to the left side of this window and click on Gradient Overlay. That changes the options in the center to those for this particular effect. Click on the Gradient field, and that opens the Gradient Editor. Let's start with one of these presets. I'm going to click this orange, yellow, orange preset. And you can see how it looks over on the image in the document window. This isn't exactly what I want for this text effect, so let's fine tune it. Go down to the gradient at the bottom of the gradient editor, where you'll see three color stops. What I want is just a lot of orange at the bottom of the gradient, fading up to a little bit of yellow at the top. So I'm going to select the rightmost orange stop and then I'll go down and click Delete. Then I'll take this yellow stop and drag it way over to the right. I'll take the middle slider that's appeared, and I'm going to drag that to the right too, so that there's more orange than yellow in this gradient. And over in the document window, that looks like just what I was going for. So I'll click OK to close the gradient editor, and I'll click OK again in the Layer Style dialog box to close that window. Let's finish up by adding a couple more type layers. There's nothing new here, so we'll go through this part pretty quickly. With the Type tool, I'll click in the image, and I can see that this type is too large for what I want. So I'll go up to the Options bar, and I'm going to type a smaller point size. I'm also going to change the font. I'm using this font, but you can choose any condensed font that you like. And I want the style to be regular. I'll enter some text, and then I'll get the Move tool and drag that into place. I want to make a copy of that type layer, so I'm going to hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag down, and that makes a copy and helps me to line it up. I'd like to make some changes to this type layer so with the Type tool, I'm going to click and drag over the text. And in the Options bar, I'm going to change the point size, and I'm going to change the color in the Color field. And I'm going to type different text. And with the Move tool again, I'll drag that into place. 
So with just some basic techniques in Photoshop, we've been able to create this attention-grabbing text in movie poster style. Go ahead and try changing up the colors and the layer styles and the fonts that we used here to create unique text effects that fit your own projects.